Oh, hey guys. Good to see you uh, here today. And uh, if you're watching this video, you must have an interest in Windows Server 2008. This happens to be Windows Server 2008 R2, the class I'm just working on. And it's now ready and it's open for you to go ahead and join the class. And if you've been watching my Windows Server uh, videos on YouTube for a while, you know I've been talking about this and we've been discussing it about having these classes and I've been telling you I'm getting them ready and it's just it takes a little while to get these classes rolling. I wanted to make sure they were ready and make sure that they're going to teach you the proper way to do Windows Server 2008. So what's in the classes? What are you going to gain by taking a class from me? Well, first you're going to gain my years of experience. I've been in this business for 25 years. I've been working with Windows Server ever since uh, version 3.5. So it was quite a long time ago. That was before they even called it Windows Server NT. It was actually at one time referred to as Windows for Work Groups. Um, so it was a long, long time ago. But now uh, I'm ready to open this class up to you. And when you finish this class, you're going to actually receive from me a certificate of completion. Now, what that's good is put that in your resume packet, send that out and say, look, I took this class online and now I'm actually I have a certificate saying that, you know, how to do Windows Server. Now, folks, this isn't just an informational class. This is a actual class on an actual content management system known as Moodle is what I use for content management. And you sit down. You actually watch a video, you're going to take a quiz, and don't get scared away by that. The quizzes aren't real hard. If you pay attention in the video, you're going to pass the quizzes just fine. And as you pass the quizzes, you're going to build a cumulative type of a grading system all the way through the course. That way we don't need a final exam on this. There's no final exam, uh, so I don't want you to sweat over that. And here's the good part. The course will always be there. You'll always be registered. I'll never delete you from the course. Um, there's there's no reason for me to do that so it'll always be available for you to go back to so you can take notes and then when the quizzes come up you can actually walk through the quizzes and you know take some notes and make sure you do uh, okay on them so I ask that you maintain an 80 percent overall through the whole entire course an 80 percent which is going to be relatively easy for you to do as long as you pay attention to the videos so let's go ahead. I'm just going to show you just briefly what's in the class that uh, you're going to be exposed to and what you're going to learn uh, in the class itself. And it is a self sign up. So I ask that you go ahead and sign up today. Sign up in there, get registered, and there'll be a link at the bottom. It's a PayPal registration. This is a paid class. I'm sorry, but um, it's been a lot of work here to put this together. And you know, uh, what people are paying today for schools is unbelievable. So I kept this class really, really low priced so you guys can uh, afford it and be able to get that uh, certificate of completion in your resume packet. Uh, I think that's really, really important to do that. So let's go ahead. We're going to take a look at it right now, and uh, I'll show you around a little bit of what the course actually looks like. Okay, now that I explained to you a little bit about what you're going to be seeing in the class, I wanted to go ahead and talk to you a little bit or show you around the class and show you what uh, what's expected of you and how you would actually learn each individual topic. So when you log into this course, it's http colon slash slash online class dot jackstechcorner.com. Now remember, uh, folks, guys and girls out there, you know uh, about subdomains, that's what this is. So there's no www. That's a subdomain. I'm gonna go ahead and log into the course now. So you would go in and you would set your account up. The first thing you want to do is go to create a new account. Walk through each and every step and create your account. When you log in for the first time, is where it's going to ask you for that PayPal fee. Go ahead and pay the fee. Then you'll be registered in the class, and then you can start taking that class. You can start today. So don't, you know, don't put this off. I've uh, taken a few online courses in my time and I found that if you keep uh, logging on saying, well, I think I'll start today. I think I'll start tomorrow. When I finally do just click the button and start, then I actually get motivated to get through the course and actually do the work. So we're going to go ahead and log in.
And when you do, after you, uh, like I said, after you uh, pay the fee, you're going to log in. This is how your course exactly is going to look, just like this. And what you're going to want to do here is click on Learning Windows Server 2008. That's the available courses, and that's your course that you're available. It's going to automat automatically enroll you as a student. Okay, right here we're seeing now, um, since I just created this account, that this account is not paid. So this is where you come up to the pay site. Uh, it says PayPal. You just simply click on payment. You can use your credit card, your visas, MasterCard, whatever you want to use on that. Uh, PayPal will accept all those. and um, Or you can use a debit card. Like I said, pretty much any kind of payment they will accept. And that will log you into the course itself. Now, let me go ahead and log you. I'm going to log in as me and show you around the course just for a few, uh, just for just a couple minutes to show you a few things on how it works. Okay, now when you finally get into the course, this is what Moodle looks like. I don't know if you've ever used an online course such as Blackboard with a lot of colleges, um, but Moodle is a basically an open source content manager type deal. Uh, I do pay for a server to run it all on, uh, and that's partially why uh, I have to charge fees for these courses because this has to be ran on a server uh, with a MySQL backend, and there's a lot of uh, other issues there that I had to worry about and take care of uh, to get this up and running for you guys. So we'll talk a little bit and show you around this, and uh, then uh, you guys sign up, and I, I really want to hear from you. I want to know uh, how's it going. Um, keep in touch with me. Up here on the right, we'll start over here on the right, is add a new topic. Uh, you won't see that. That's so I can post some latest news uh, to you guys. If something new's coming up, a uh, new topic or something that I want to bring out to you. Uh, upcoming events. I thought we would use this. If you uh, once you sign up, email me. Let me know you signed up. And then what I'll do, if you don't already have it, I'll send you a Google uh, Plus. We'll we'll send you a Google Plus invite, and we might have uh, weekly meetings. Um, for as long as you're in the course. Then that way if you have any questions or anything, bring them to that table. We can all be sitting around uh, basically a discussion type group on Google Groups. I think that's going to work out okay. Recent activity will show you anything recent that I put in uh, to the course and messages. If you have, if I send you a message, this is where you're going to see it over here. And right now it says no messages waiting. You can also send me messages. So if you want to send me something, uh, ask me a question, something you don't quite understand, by all means that's how you would do it. Send it through the messages. And then with that said, um, over here is where the courses actually start, right in the middle. So what you would do first of all is you're going to um, uh, first step setups. There's some stuff here, some introduction. Um, it just tells you a little bit about the courses. You go up here on top, you can go back, you can navigate back and forth. Uh, servers and clients is actually your first lesson. Uh, you would read this one. This is actually a reading lesson, so you read it. And then you'll take the short quiz. I'm not going to show you the quiz. That's going to give you a heads up or give you a jump. Um, then you go into installing Windows Server, first steps, and you work your way down. Setting up password policies. We talk about uh, GP or group policies and managing that. Uh, we talk about OUs, how that works. We also look down here. We look at uh, joining the domain controller. So I take you through uh, an actual Windows 7 setup. We have a Windows 7 machine, and we join that to our domain. Uh, so that's good to know how to do that. And then as an added bonus, I threw in there how to log a Mac. There's a lot of Macs coming into the organizations lately. And I even uh, was recently um, at a meeting talking to some folks. And they said they're seeing more and more Macs in organizations. So it teaches you how to take a Mac or an Apple and log that Apple into your domain controller. And um, I take you through each step of that too. Then we go into IIS. And then we'll go into creating some basic web pages for the IIS service uh, in case you want to rub, run a basic web server on your Windows 2008 R2. Now like I said after each particular video what you're going to do is you're going to uh, have a couple quiz questions just a few quiz questions you're going to go ahead and uh, click on those and you're going to take those quizzes. So it's a very very um, I believe it's a well thought out course um, like I said, I've been doing Windows servers for a lot of years, so I take you through each individual step. At the end, once you get everything completed, there will be a um, just a little write-up that I ask where uh, what you fell to the class, what might be able to be done better, if anything. I like to have your opinions there. Um, and then I will ask you for your address. At that point, once all the quizzes are taken and completed um, to standards, 
then I will go ahead and I will actually mail your certificate to your house. Um, and you'll be good to go. You can use that certificate, like I said, put that with your resumes. So it's a very, very good course, folks. Um, if uh, I didn't want to do that. So the courses are now open. I do want you to uh, jump on board here and take these. Um, I want to see a lot of you signing up out there. I know a lot of you uh, have been asking, Jack, when's these Windows Server courses starting? Um, and don't let that price scare you away. I mean, I made it as cheap as possible, guys. Um, it's very, very inexpensive. And what's going to also happen with that, you're going to network with me for for pretty much ever. I mean, I, you know, I don't have an expiration date. Not right now, I hope, anyway. Uh, so you can email me and talk to me, and we can, uh, like I said, the... Um, the Windows video and everything itself, everything in that course will be there for you forever. Uh, so you have a nice way to go back and get some information if you forget something. So guys, I'll be looking for you to sign up. Uh, that's why I wanted to do this introductory video here and post on YouTube because I know that's where you guys found me. Um, so please uh, sign up today and let's get some of these uh, folks rolling in this course. And I'll see you on uh, onlineclass.jackstechcorner.com in the message boards. So long for now.